In this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to enable hardware ray tracing or real time ray tracing in an existing UE5 project. So when you create a project in UE5, you have an option to enable or keep it disabled the hardware ray tracing feature for your project. And very quickly, hardware ray tracing is a rendering feature in UE5 that will give you more accurate rendering of your scene for shadows, ambient occlusion, more accurate reflections, translucency, and global illumination. Something you're not going to be able to get if you have it disabled. However, you do need to have a video card that supports real-time ray tracing. So if your video card doesn't support it, you're not going to be able to use it. Now, your project will still use Lumen and it will just simply use software ray tracing. And you're just not going to get those visual benefits that hardware ray tracing offers. So right here, I'm going to keep it disabled and create a new project. So if you forgot to enable hardware ray tracing for your project, in order to enable it inside an existing project, you would simply go to Edit, Project Settings, under Engine, scroll down to Rendering, then scroll down until you get to Hardware Ray Tracing right here. And simply enable Support Hardware Ray Tracing. It will ask you to, if you also want to enable Skin Cache, and you do. So click Yes, and then restart the editor. And now you've enabled Hardware Ray Tracing for your project. Here on the Lumen, you can enable Use Hardware Ray Tracing when available. So Lumen will begin to use Hardware Ray Tracing rather than Software Ray Tracing, which is on by default. But now you have all of the features and benefits of using real-time ray tracing or hardware ray tracing.